to this introduction to the way to player one. Uh, my name is Titus. I'm going to show you how to assemble the whole board. Now the board comes out of the bag in different parts. Uh, this is the board, the loose board, and of course we have to attach uh, the rest of it. So here you've got your mast with the engine. You've got uh, two wings, one stabilizer and one front wing. Uh, and we're gonna make it all fit and uh, put it all together with the screws and bolts that come in the package. Okay, we're gonna start with the mast. So I'm gonna turn the board around. And all we need is these two screws with the black wings on top. Make sure you put it in the right direction. So with the engine facing on the back of the board. All you have to do to assemble the mast is put in the screw and you do that by twisting of course but when you hit these little edges you can lift off the black part of the screw and then twist it until you are at the part where the ridges are not there anymore and then you can turn it and that's how you make it tight so lift it up twist push it back twist all right so now it's time to uh, attach the two wings the bigger wing goes on the front and the stabilizer or the smaller wing goes on the back of the board like this and again all you have to do is use screws and tighten them we're gonna start with the big wing we're using the long screws the shorter screws these ones are for the back wing for the small wing all you have to do is place the wing on the front of the board the bigger wing, wing goes to the front of the board and make sure that the hollow part is facing up and then all you have to do is screw two screws in with the tool that comes in the bag and then you're good to go. We're gonna continue with the small wing. Make sure, like with the bigger wing, that the uh, hollow part is facing up and uh, make sure you use the right screw. So these are the shorter screws. If you use the longer ones by accident and you screw them here, in here, then it can happen that the engine has no space to turn anymore. So make sure you've got the right screws and then all you have to do is screw the wing on. All right, so the board is all assembled. As you can see, we've put a towel underneath the board. Uh, there's a high risk of damaging your board if you assemble it on a hard surface. So we strongly recommend you use either a towel or something else to protect it or to do it on a soft surface. All right, so time to assemble uh, the battery, last part. All you have to do is lay the battery onto the board and make sure everything connects as it should. Now with the twisting of the screws to tighten the battery, uh, you can do that yourself. They're designed to do it yourself. However, if you want to make yourself a little easier, you can use a screwdriver. Make sure you use a big screwdriver though. If you use a too small screwdriver, you can uh, uh, damage the holes in the screws. So use a screwdriver, tighten the screw. Same on the other side. Needs a bit of pressure sometimes. There you go. All right, so when you're done foiling, of course you have to charge your battery, which is really easy. In your board bag there is a charger. Place the charger on a flat surface like this with the ventilation system on the top. Get the connector, put it in like this, press it a little bit, and then plug it in. I'm going to explain you now how to uh, put on the battery and how to connect the remote. First of all, you press the on and off button, press it, short press it long and hold it until you hear a beep then it's on then to connect the remote it's the same sequence but this time with the connect button so again press it short press it long and hold it until you hear a beep again and then you get the remote and you press the minus button over here and the power button together until it vibrates and then you see a red and a blue light on the bottom here of the remote, which means it's connected. To test if the remote is actually connected, you can press the minus button that will unlock the safety mechanism on the remote. And if you hit the gas button on the back, you can hear that it's working. All right, so we're all good to go, all set to go into the water. A uh, couple of things that we would like to recommend to you before you go into the water. Uh, first of all, uh, the boards are delicate, as we said before. If you are over 100 kilograms, then we advise you not to go onto the board because these masts are sensitive and they might break if you are over 100 kilograms. 
Um, if you go in the water with the board, make sure that there are no uh, plants or uh, other things that can go into the engine or like in here, uh, sorts of moss that can go onto the outside of the board and make your board dirty. Uh, when the water is too shallow, very important, don't go in. When you want to lift up your board, the best way to do it is to grab one of the handles and to grab the mast and pick it up from your knees, not to hurt your back like this. And you can relatively easily lift your board. Uh, the water here is very shallow, so what I'm gonna do is walk in very carefully. And when the water is deep enough, you can put the side into the water and slowly turn it like this. And then you can drag the board into the water where the, uh, to a point where it's deep enough. The board is in the water, uh, the water is deep enough here, so what I'm going to do is go into the water and in the water I will flip the board, that's the easiest way. So to flip the board, grab one of the handles, make sure you're on the side because the mess is going to turn into the water. Grab the side and turn. When you get out of the water, just as important as when you get in, make sure you don't hit anything shallow. You can. Uh, Turn the board again, like this, and lift it out of the water carefully. Now we're on rock, so very carefully place the fin on the ground. When you get out of the water, uh, it's always very good to rinse your board. So I'm gonna grab a hose and wash it down with fresh water. Especially if you went out on the ocean, this is critical, otherwise it will uh, get damaged sooner. Alright, I hope uh, I explained everything clearly to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us and have fun in the water with your first ride.